Oracle Apex is a developer tool that enables us to create working applications on a database in Oracle and to do that very quickly. So in this video series for rapid application development, we will be using Apex 424. If you want to work along with the videos, there are scripts available that will be run in the first few videos that create tables and populate the tables with data. In this video, we'll look at how to use Apex to create a table through the object browser interface. I'm going to log in as developer Ashwini. And I'll go into SQL Workshop and to Object Browser. If you look off to the far right, you will see a Create option. And I can select Create Table. And then I have these steps to go through in order to create a table. So I could give it a title such as Projects. Have a Proj ID and I could have that as number or var car. Then I could have proj underscore name and that could be variable character with a certain uh, field size. Oh. I could have a client also var car. And I could check null or not null. As I move through this, and I'm not actually going to create this table, but as I click, I will designate my primary key. I already have this table, so I guess I'll say that's Projects 2. And I would set up my uh, primary key. If I want Apex to create the sequence and the trigger for me, then I would want to click this. I would select if it exists, I would select the project ID and then I could change the name of the sequence if I wanted to and also the constraint for the primary key. And I could go on if I had foreign keys and designate those and what tables they relate to. And I could set up other constraints such as uniqueness or a check constraint. But I'm going to at this point go ahead and click cancel. Let me also show you while I'm here in the object browser that you can go to sequences and you can see what the sequences are. I have a student ID sequence and it started out at 5000 but now we see what the last number is at 5020. So it's the trigger and the sequence combined that will enable uh, Oracle to give you a unique identifier value for each primary key for each row in a particular table to assign that primary key value. I want to go back to tables. I'm going to select students and I'm going to use the constraint tab to create a constraint. Although I have a surrogate key student ID that is system generated using a trigger and a sequence I also have a student user ID which I want to be unique so I will I'll select constraint and I'll do a create and you can uh, take the default name I'm going to modify this and I want a unique constraint and I want to set that for the student user ID then I click next and then I click Finish. So now I have the primary key, I have a foreign key related to the team table, I have check constraints where I've required student ID uh, which is system generated now and also the student user ID and first name and last name. These all must be populated in order to create a student record. But I now also have a uniqueness constraint which means that if I look at the data, no one else can have the same user ID in this table. In the next video, we'll use SQL Workshop to and use the utility section to upload data and insert it into a table.